because of a force called gravity. What does gravity look like? Gravity is something we can't see. But we know it's a great invisible force that keeps us all here on Earth. It's a natural force that keeps us all from flying off into space. We were always... Alright, so I want to talk a little bit about that phrase. That phrase that we get so often. You know, if it weren't for gravity, we'd all go flying off into space. As ridiculous as that sounds, there are still adults, supposedly rational thinking adults, that still say that exact same thing. So, the situation is that we've all been subjected to an extensive propaganda campaign that has resulted in people operating with total disregard for their own God-given senses. And this has led people to believe in ideologies that go completely against common sense and rational thought. When individuals express their knowledge that they live on a flat, stationary plane, one of the most popular responses we get is in the form of gravity. And gravity is used to explain away everything that makes absolutely no sense in relation to your day-to-day -day experience. That's, it's the glue that holds this whole thing together. So we were all programmed to believe in gravity and we're told to respond by explaining gravity and saying that gravity is this amazing force on Earth that pulls everything towards the center of mass from all directions. This infers that when people say that, that believe in a globe, that there exist people thousands of miles beneath your feet who are walking, driving, riding bikes, flying airplanes, finding love and loss, experiencing tragedy and hope, all while living their entire existence upside down relative to their position. And when people say that, I don't believe that they're really thinking that deeply about what they're saying. And what you're seeing here is a visual demonstration of just that. I know, it looks silly. But we globe skeptics or flat earthers, we're not the ones that believe that this nonsense actually matches up with reality. Just because that's what we're told. But, if you believe that gravity is strong enough to be pulling everything towards the center of mass, and let's go ahead and take a look at this example and break it down a little bit. A person can be standing next to a 4,000 pound vehicle and step outside said vehicle and stand next to a helium balloon while that balloon is attempting to float upward to the sky that is relatively beneath someone else's feet. Because people believe that's a thing. You can dig through the earth and then come out the other side and there's going to be sky up there when you get out on the other side. People believe that gravity is strong enough to hold this 4,000 pound van to the ground because that's what you're seeing right here. The gravitational pull is supposedly holding the van on, on the concrete, keeping it from flying off into space, right? Somebody can step out of that same vehicle with absolutely no detection of this tremendous force that's holding the van to the ground. And as ridiculous as this sounds and looks, that's exactly what most of the Earth's population has been trained to believe. And then you're going to have these so-called experts on the internet who would shrug that off and offer up word salad, pseudo-scientific jargon, word trickery to confuse people using terms like selective gravity to explain away these things that have no relation to reality. Now let's address this logical fallacy of gravity's what's keeping us all from flying off into space and add a little question in there. Now, those of us who actually trust in our senses to interpret reality and have grown a skepticism for the globe model, and we find it easier to conclude that gravity is a non-existent force and that we all, meaning everyone existing on Earth, all of us, we experience life on a flat, motionless plane. We all walk around upright at a 90 degree angle on this vast, flat plane, just like we all experience every day of our lives our day-to-day -day experience is us living on a flat motionless plane none of us have ever seen anybody upside down that makes absolutely no sense 
Anyway, but if gravity is the force that is keeping us all from flying off into space, then this will mean that there's some force, some repellent force that's either pushing everything away from the surface of the Earth, or that there's some force that's external to the Earth that's pulling everything away from the surface of the Earth in all directions, relatively. This would mean that there's some force that gravity's constantly in this eternal struggle with. Well, as far as we know, there's no repulsive force pushing everything away from the Earth. In fact, we've been taught that the Earth has a magnetic core. Although it's been demonstrated that magnetic properties are lost when a metal reaches a certain temperature, but I suppose that's for another video. And as far as the external force pulling things off the Earth, uh, that gravity is supposed to be constantly fighting against, well, some people would say that's the vacuum of space and, you know, attribute all that to, you know, this, this infinite vacuum of space. But it's been demonstrated and it's been discussed at length by uh, other content creators that the idea of an enclosed system existing next to a vacuum without a physical membrane or a barrier between the two, that's a physical impossibility. So to summarize, if you believe that gravity is the force that keeps us off from flying off into space, then that means that there has to be some force that gravity is perpetually counteracting that's either pushing us away from the surface of the Earth or that's pulling us out into space off of the face of the Earth. So the question is, what is that force that gravity is constantly battling against? What's the name of that force? I just want you to think about these things. And that's all I got for this video. As always, be good to each other, take care of yourself, stay flat. I'll see you next time. Thank you.